Hi, I'm Brian Gleason with MLC CAD Systems. Um, today we're going to be looking at the process hole toolpath, um, how to speed up hole feature programming. Uh, what we're going to cover is how to use it, uh, how to modify it, and then how to make it a little more efficient for us to be programming every, uh, repetitive holes. So we do a lot of hole making. We tap, we drill, we spot, we counter bore, whatever we got to do. A lot of us are usually going through it step by step. So we spot, we drill, we tap. We spot, we drill, we counter bore. Um, we make it kind of tedious and time consuming. So the process hole, we're going to learn how to reduce, recycle, and reuse proven tool paths. So by utilizing the process hole, we can use proven processes to quickly program hole features. Uh, we're also going to cover how to create and edit a process library, and then how to break these out into separate tool paths to go ahead and um, resort, get them to speed up the you know the program, less tool changes. So how do we use process hole? So I have my part here. Um, it's a fixture plate. I'm in the fixture plate making business. So we design our own fixture plates and, and um, all the holes are modeled exactly the same every time. And every time I use the same tools, same speeds, same speeds to program the holes. That being said, we go to our tool pass process hole. I'll start off with one of the smaller ones. So we have the 394 diameter. I'm going to go ahead and control click. It'll grab all of the 394s. I'll say next. And I already have a um, process library set up. So let me show that to you real quick. Over here, I have just a processed or toolpath template that I have set up for various toolpaths. So maybe our M10 for M10 bolt. It's already programmed to spot, drill, and then uh, circle mill out the uh, counter bore. So in the process, well, I'll be looking to the library and we'll use the same library that I just showed you. And then it, based off of the, the whole feature itself, it found that I have an operation for that. So it knows I'm going to do spot. And it also knows that I'm going to be drilling. Um, if need be, we're able to break these out and modify them individually outside of the toolpath so we can edit them as well. Next, I will set our clearances. Right now, I'm good. Top dead center of the part is our XYZ zero, and we'll have one inch clearance. Green check, let that process. We have the 394 holes done. We'll rinse and repeat. We'll look at the 512 holes. We already have a process in our library for it, so uh, spot drill. We have our clearances set up. Green check. Awesome. We'll do it one more time. We have some through holes. 531 through. Now, it's in our process library already. It found the process that we use. Clearance is good. Awesome. Uh, next, we'll look at our counter bores. So I'm going to shift click. It grabbed all of our counter bore features. We have an 8 millimeter counter bore blind already set up. So it's going to drill, drill, and circle mill. Next, clearances are good. And now we have pretty much all of them done. So we'll see what this looks like. 
and everybody loves how fast verify is so we spotted drilled spot drill spot drill so i'm going to turn off the stop conditions and we'll see that we have everything done um i am missing some large diameter um counter boards on the outside now i don't have those in my process so what we're going to do is we're going to add to our process so first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find the hole size we're going to add that to our hole template we're going to program the new hole and we'll come back and then we'll um add it to our part So what I want to do is I'm going to go to model prep. I'm going to find hole. And I'm going to use faces. And we'll pick the faces of this counter bore and through hole. I'll say OK. One hole were detected in body. Awesome. And then I need to regenerate these just for my OCD sake. On our solids manager, I'll go into the fixture plate and I uh, now see I have a counter bore. Um, I should have showed you that that wasn't there until we did the find hole. And looking at the hole, we can see that it is 531 through a inch 63 thousandths on the counter bore diameter 531 deep. And it's going through. I'm going to leave this up. Coming to our our um, template, got a little gap in here, so I'm going to use that to create the hole. So I need some wireframe to place it. We'll drop it in the middle of these two. I like to label things, so I'm going to add a, another document um, or note. So we'll go to drafting, we'll do note, and this is going to be for a M13 cap screw. We're going to place that. I'm really just going to eyeball this up. We'll call that good. So I got a note. I got some geometry. Now I need to add a hole. So we go to solids. I'm going to create a hole. We'll add it to this solid. I'll use this as a position. And usually we'll start off with a simple hole. So I'm going to tell it we're doing a counter bore. And I need to make sure that all these um, diameters are correct. My easiest way to do that is I'm going to take the diameter, control C, copy that, come my process, paste, copy the counter bore diameter. We'll copy the depth. And then we'll make sure that we have through all selected on the process. So we have bottom angle through all set. Awesome. Now we need to create a toolpath group. So it's going to reference toolpath groups to be able to find the different processes. So I'm going to come up to machine group. Right click groups, new toolpath group. I'm going to call this M13 counter bore root. And I'm going to, we'll place it, minimize some of these. And we'll just place it right after the M12 or 12 millimeter counter bore. All right, so I already have a 
toolpath for the counter bore. Um, I'm going to take that and copy it. So here's our toolpath for the through. I have everything underneath selected. I'm going to right click hold and we'll drag it down. Just below our M13 counter bore through. And I got to make sure it looks correct. All right. So we need to go modify our geometry. And I'm going to clear this out. Do a shift click to get the whole, sorry. Double click to get the whole whole feature. That's in all of it, whole. Oh, I forgot to uh, update my header, so, or comment. All right, next, um, I'm going to replace so I'm right click holding and dragging it over the geometry and replacing it so now everything's looking at the same geometry we'll go find the correct tool I happen to have one in here already 13 and a half this will be 13 millimeter and then we'll just update the comment on the circle mill So we have one M13 counter bore programmed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save as in, save it to my um, process. Now that we have that set, we're going to look at adding it to our part file. So we'll go in, we'll do our process hole. I'm going to shift click, grab all of the counter bores. Make sure that I have the template selected. And it is finding my M13 counter board through. And we have our good uh, clearances, absolute. And voila, now we have those ones programmed. So let's look at this again. Spot, drill, spot, drill, spot, drill, counter bore, counter bore. We'll look at that again. So we have a lot of tool changes going on. So we'll, how can we make this more efficient? So, unless you like all the tool changes, we're going to look at how to explode and resort. So, in my part, we have each of these process holes, which contains each of the process for each one. So, it's going to hold the spot, the drilling, spot, drill, spot, drill, counter bore. All those are kind of in, encapsulated in that process hole. So I'm going to select all the process hole toolpaths, right click, and then we're going to explode the process hole. So what this is going to do is break out all those individual toolpaths from the process hole. Now we have each toolpath created and we can do some sorting. So now that they're exploded out, I'm going to select all, right click, and then we'll do sort. And I'm going to sort by tool number. So now we can see that we have spot, 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 and everything's going to be refined. Look at this again. So now, spot all, drill, 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 come back and counter bore. So quickly and easily able to program all the whole features on this um, 
fixture plate. So by using the Mastercam's process hole toolpath, we're able to recycle proven processes, reduce programming time, and then we came back and edited the template to be able to reuse later. So recycled, reduced, and reused. So that's what I got for process hole. Thank you. So using process hole, let's tap into speed.